Hello, hello, and welcome to All Lottle Axolotls. Today we will be doing an FAQ. Frequently Asked Questions video. Before we begin please show your support for this video by subscribing, giving it a thumb, and sharing it on your social media platforms for others to see. A printable text copy of this video can be found on our website. Question number 1. How long do axolotls live? When kept in captivity, axolotls tend to live an average of 10 years. However, if cared for properly, and given the proper environment, and nutrition, it is not unheard of for axolotls to live for 15 to 20 years. Question number 2. Can my axolotl survive in a pond? The answer is yes. However many conditions do apply. Hobbyists in temperate regions maintain axolotls in outdoor ponds. These ponds would not contain any other fish, except those that would be considered food for the axolotl. You must ensure the temperature in the pond year-round is maintained somewhere between 10 degrees Celsius to 23 degrees Celsius. This would be 10 degrees Fahrenheit to 74 degrees Fahrenheit. Question number 3. Axolotl live with fish in a community aquarium? Keeping your axolotls in s community aquarium with other fish is strongly not advised. However, there have been hobbyists who claim they have successfully kept their axolotls rosy minnows, beta fish, snails, tetras and other small fish. Note that this is not advised and you should proceed at your own risk. Question number 4. What are those feather-looking things on the side of an axolotl's head? Those are external gills. Although axolotls do have a set of lungs they do not function. They breathe by swimming to the top of the water's surface and taking a big gulp of air. The oxygen is then stores within the external gills and pumped through the body when they flap their gills. Question number 5. Do axolotls walk or swim? The answer is both. Although axolotls will spend most of their time walking on the floor of your aquarium, do have webbed feet, and a tail, and will swim. It is best to set up your aquarium with sufficient floor room for them to walk around. Question number 6. How do axolotls breathe? Do I need a bubbler or filter? As explained in the previous questions axolotls breathe through external gills. Although a filter is not necessary for axolotls to breathe it is an essential part of creating a stable and safe environment. Without a filter your water quality will suffer and as a result so will the overall health of your axolotl. Question number 7. What do axolotls eat? Can I feed my axolotl pellets? In the wild axolotls diets would consist of small fish, worms, and any other small aquatic life small to fit in their mouths. At home you can feed you axolotl fresh worms from your local bait shop or axolotl pellets available on our website. Question number 8. How should I set up my tank? What decor? Your tank should be an absolute minimum of 1 square foot per axolotls. This works out to be roughly 10 gallons per axolotl. You can decorate your aquarium with plenty of caves, driftwood, and plenty of fake or real plants. Question number 9. How often do I need to clean my aquarium? You should change about 15 to 20% of your aquarium water once every other week. This would include siphoning the subs aquarium. It is also best to remove any uneaten food daily. This can also be easily avoided by not overfeeding. The filter should be cleaned once a month. Question number 10. What temperature do I keep my axolotl tank at? The absolute minimum temperature for an axolotl would be 10 degrees Celsius to 23 degrees Celsius. This would be 10 degrees Fahrenheit to 74 degrees Fahrenheit. The best average temperature would be 20 degrees Celsius or 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Question number 11. Is my axolotl male or female? Sexual maturity is reached at approximately one year old or greater. Only at this point can it be determined without lab testing. Females will have no physical changes other than becoming graved which gives the appearance that your axolotl is fat. Male axolotls will develop swollen cloaca. Click on the website link provided to see further information including pictures. Question number 12. Where do axolotls come from? Axolotls are found exclusively in the lake complex of Xochimilco near Mexico City. Axolotls differ from most other salamanders in that they live permanently in water. Question number 13. Are axolotls endangered? Yes, axolotls are considered endangered species. Although there are thousands or millions available in captivity, they are almost non-existent in the wild. 
This is due to pollution and lack of care for the axolotl by the local community in Mexico. Question number 14. Can my axolotl morph into a land salamander? This is a very rare scenario called metamorphosis. This occurs in nature to allow the axolotl to escape from unbearable water conditions. This is very rare and most times results in death as it is too much for the axolotl to endure. When keeping an axolotl in an aquarium set up your tank as the axolotl is fully aquatic. For further information on axolotls please visit our websites, alotlaxolotls.ca or axolotlcity.com. Um, thank you for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button. And share this video on your social media platforms to help support us for future video content. Until next time. Have an amazing day.